auxiliary input mode. trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. We're solid now. He's out getting the negatives, the film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. Ah, and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in purge clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Well, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Okay, okay.
just a witness, okay? Have you actually got a tux? No, 
I gotta pick one up in Ponson Beach. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. drive himself to the premiere. Come on! The Oriental Theater on Pinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink off. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Chisel in the movie fizzle. Hear that fine one? You hear that fine one? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to like gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually like properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy, read my necros entitled E. N. T. Uh, title. Cause I am. Jimmy. Oh, hot chill. I'm done spraying the shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not going to forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. Love, love, love the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wait, 
when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby? I mean, that was... All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick my just have a hug. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> What the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey! Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> You twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? Fuck! Fuck! Alright, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls.
punching. Kick. Oh, uh, you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm going to start shooting. Fuck. came to my house, Lester. My house! I asked the man and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but hearing weather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. What is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor.
Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are okay. Mm -hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out front? Tell me. I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. It was a fuck up, Doc. There's still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been well. Yeah, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Jeez. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking <laughs> okay, about? Well, that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It just... I think you need a new therapist. And... I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be Not famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tail. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You, uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Isn't this the attention you were looking for? Talk. Watch your back. You too. It's all I'm 
saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! It's all right, all right, right huh? Enough. enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored car, take the crews hostage, then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up and get out. We need to infiltrate the transportation grid, manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. All in the attention seekers. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, and these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gonna be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? You've got to get some police stingers, and only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. The uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total, <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. After the bureau, I'll stick with them. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, it is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. They took on the FIB with us. They gotta be okay. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Okay, so we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. Long's ready to move now. Come on. I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. Alright, let's go. Dude, we still need to see that movie.
stop your fucking car! Offered me a job in corporate? I said no. 
This is where I belong. 